Oh, hi, this is Comrade Sephiroth, and welcome back for episode 10 of Let's Play Chrono Cross. Can't believe I'm already on episode 10, and right now as I record this, I'm uploading episode 2, because I have very slow uploading capabilities for these videos. It takes about an hour to two hours per 10 minutes. Uh, part of that could be because I have DSL and not wireless, but anyway. We're going to go to Cape Howell now. And this we saw in the other version of the world. Um, and we got a couple treasures, but there are a couple more here now. And let's see. Oh, another thing is my magical elements. I have more of them now. I have another photon ray. Not going to put that in. I'm not going to use turn red because what that does is turns uh, changes the elemental attributes of. Um, of your, um, you either an ally or an enemy, and then so ice lance. I think I'm going to put. Um, actually, I'm going to take. No. Why don't I put a? Uh, yeah, go ahead and put that in there. And then partial. We'll have the magma bomb. And I'm going to there. I'm going to put that. Wait a minute. It's green and partial is yellow, so that might not work. Just go for cure for now and switch that out, since he doesn't have an opposing elemental attribute that'll make the spell weaker. Okay. Should I fight that? No. I might off-screen that battle. I will get this one, though. Magma Bomb. Now, Magma Bomb is actually a multi-target attack spell. It's one of the few low-level spells that can be multi-targeted if you want to attack an entire party. So, that for that reason, I find myself using it a lot, even if the monsters are not water or ice-based. I'm not here. Electro Jolt. That is a level 2 yellow attack spell. Remember Earth and Lightning? Well, the e odd-numbered yellow attack spells are Earth, and the even-numbered attack spells in the yellow category are Lightning. And uh, then um, Wind and... what is it? Uh, plants are odd green attack spells, and Wind is an even green attack spell, I believe. Anyway, here is the promontory where Sergei and Lena um, have written their love message. Rest in peace. Our beloved Sergei died age seven. Nobody can take anything away from him or give anything to him came from the sea and he has returned to the sea. So Sergei is dead in this world or whatever. The ghost of the boy. So apparently I'm a ghost in this world. Oh, they kicked Poshul out of the way. I'm a ghost. We're under... We're being captured. Whoever he is. Hold your seahorses! Now, we saw her in the, um, 
intro section. That is, yes, believe it or not, that is Kid. So that dream was somehow psychic, somebody who we haven't met yet, and now we're meeting up with her in real life. Or else, this axe of mine will have to do the talking. That doesn't uh, dissuade her, though. We finally get to hear the boss battle. I'm gonna kick your sorry arses so hard you'll kiss the moons! is white. It doesn't. Attack him with the opposite um, elemental spell. I don't have any black or green elemental spells myself. are magic, according to him. Now, she has a lot of spells. We're going to use a magma bomb. Take a look at this. Attack them all. Oh, I missed everything. My time is up. There we go. Got it. That's sold. And uh-oh. I have full red field, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Now that these three lines up there are all red, I can attack with red magic and it'll do a lot more damage. Basically, any ma ma red magic, red physical elements, or any attacks by anybody with red elemental characteristics will be stronger if that field up in the upper left corner is all red. Do you have any more attacks? Oh, what the heck. But Ice Lance is weaker. I'm going to break the field with a blue spell and show you for, for now just that it's weaker. See that it only did 17 damage? That field is useful because some spells can't be used unless the entire field is a solid color. 
was can make for some nuisances, definitely. But we're getting very close to the end, so I'm going to try and finish this up. Hopefully it only has a... Very close. Let's. Oh, I've used everything. Got it. All right. Well, we finished that, and we are going to get another. Since it was a boss battle, we get another one of these stars. But that's all the time I have. So, thanks for enjoying episode 10 of Let's Play Chrono Cross. Until next time, this is Comrade Sephiroth.